Step one, how to pick out a travel blog name that is amazing and everlasting. Within this step, we're gonna explore what does it mean to be everlasting as well as where you should even start. So what does it mean to be everlasting? Well, first of all, you don't wanna pick a name that's gonna change over time or be completely short-lived. Maybe it's trendy or in the moment, but for example, you wouldn't wanna pick something like Young Tan Mountain Climber, because odds are you won't always be young, you might not always stay tan, and Mountain Climber, although that's a niche, it is gonna put you in a very small niche. Um, another example would be you wouldn't necessarily want the happy traveler or smiley traveler unless you're really going to base everything upon being happy and smiling. But you might want a, a little more broad topic on the adjectives and maybe a little more niche focus on the root word that you're using. And you definitely want to pick a name that's going to be relevant for years to come. So any kind of movie quotes or anything that's very, very small niche is something that I would avoid if I'm you. Where should you even start? Well, first and foremost, I would say that you want a website or domain name or branding name that's going to be 15 characters or less. One, this is for ease of use. Uh, oftentimes, if you get any longer than this, your name becomes a bit of a tongue twister or hard to say. Also for shareability, if you start adding more characters than that or too many words, it's really hard to have one person pass that on to another person. One of the biggest reasons for this is because a Twitter handle or your Twitter username is going to have to be 15 characters or less and also for writing any type of posts. Now, once it gets into more characters, for example, on Twitter, you only get so many characters. And so if you're using up 25 of those right off the bat, or if you want to use your name twice and you're using 50 characters, that's just simply not going to make sense. So keep it short and succinct and it'll provide a much better uh, username or website. And something I don't see taught very often, which I'm excited to dive into, is you want to see if this username is going to be or your domain name or website name is going to be on a variety of different social media platforms. So shortly I'm going to dive into a website called namecheck.com where you're going to be able to see if your name is widely available. So I'll do a quick walkthrough on that here shortly. And you want to make sure the website is available. Uh, I think if you're thinking a ton of names, this is going to be one of the very, very first steps. If your website's not available, it's going to be very hard to brand it. And you want to make sure it's the exact website and that you don't have to add on any kind of prefixes or, or anything after the words to make it blend with the website. Um, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on, you can barely see it here in this picture, but there's a way to find a lot of different website names all at once. And I'll go ahead and do that uh, just a little bit here. The last thing I recommend as you're picking out a name for your brand and your website is that you do bounce these ideas off of other people. Friends, family, strangers, whoever's willing to listen, you get a real good sense if your name is going to um, work well, if people are able to pronounce it. Sometimes it's best to show people the name written down so that when they read it, you realize right away whether it makes sense to them or not. But in general, sometimes what you see as being the best is not necessarily that great of a name. So with this, I do want to jump over to name check and do our quick walkthrough. So here we are at namecheck.com. That's N-A-M-E-C-H-K.com. And I want to show you a very, very valuable tool that's going to let you know if the domain name is available for .com and show you a variety of usernames and if they're available. So when you're seeking out your domain name or your branding name, you're going to want to see whether the Facebook's available, the YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, Blogger, Google+, Plus and the other varieties of different platforms that you might be marketing on. So you have Pinterest, uh, StumbleUpon. Again, here's a ton of different ways, and I encourage you to check out this site, but you might see a lot of different platforms that uh, stick out to you that you want to advertise on. And so, again, I came up with RushBeyond.com for my username or my domain name, 
But for this example, just going to pick uh, some random examples. But say I use uh, rush travels, and then that's all you have to type in. You don't have to type in .com. But say I wanted this domain and username, and you can see right away I hit enter. The domain rushtravels.com is unavailable. It's unavailable on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Blogger. So it's definitely missing a couple of the top marketing platforms I would like to use. And uh, ideally, you're, I mean, whatever you're focusing in on is what you want to be green lighted. And, but I also encourage you to look out for the future and you'll want as many green lighted platforms as possible. So let's type in another name. So I'll go ahead and try another username. Again, I'm making these up off the top of my head, but we'll try something like Rush Nomad. I'd want that for a brand and the domains. And there you go. With this, I can see it's wide open. I could go over and buy rushnomad.com. I could easily acquire the Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and almost all of these are not taken and I would have a wide range of selection. So what you would do is you'd go over, you would want to purchase this name and then start registering on all of these different platforms. I really love this tool and think that everyone should use it. The last thing you want to do is come up with that perfect name that you thought was completely original and then you go, you, you are able to find the domain name but then you start exploring and you realize that you can't market this on any platform because that vanity url is already taken so definitely check this out great tool highly recommended and then from here i want to show you another tool that i really like it's with godaddy and it's called their uh, bulk tool uh, registration or bulk registration tool it's going to give you an a uh, way to really explore a variety of similar names but uh, find what is available. So let's jump over there. You can easily go to Google, GoDaddy, bulk domain, and you're gonna find godaddy.com backslash domains backslash bulk dash domain dash search. And the reason I love this is it gives you a lot of room to just type in whatever you want and really explore if this is gonna work out and if your domain name will in fact be available. So I'm going to type in a bunch of random names here. And so at this point, I plugged in seven different names. And as you'll see, again, these are random, but I could go ahead and buy nomadthebeaches.com, rushnomad.com is available, rushnomads.com is available, and searchtheworld.com is not, wander travels is not. But you can do this up to 500 different word, uh, different domains. So it really, really gives you free range to go ahead and type in all of these different ideas. And once you have your couple words that you want to include within your domain name, you can just change them up a little, like travels the world, travel the world. And from there, once you hit enter, it's gonna process whether these are available or not. So I love this. Um, I've also taken different uh, names and words within a spreadsheet and scaled it out and then plugged it in here. And then again, once you hit go, it's going to show you right away uh, whether those names are available. So there you see it keeps the names that I already had and those two that I just typed in are unavailable. So play around with this. Uh, but even once you get that domain name, I still recommend name check to find out if the usernames are available as well. So that is step one on how to pick out a travel blog name that is amazing and everlasting. For a quick bonus, I would also say if you're really stuck, go out and just Google domain name generators and a lot of these different tools that you'll find are gonna help you on your way to picking out that domain name. So there you have it and I hope you're well on your way. If you have any questions, reach out to me.